welcome to the virtual groom room. My name is Jackie Harris and today I'm bringing out the shaving video. And I am going to use one of my favourite soaps today. And this is Australian Private Reserve Bombora. This is a citrusy aquatic. This is just outright one of my favourite scents. I have about four days of growth. I've been very busy. I'm in a new setting as you guys can see. So it's been pretty crazy for me these past few days. But we're settled now in Portland. Well as settled as we can be. Not everything has been unpacked, etc. but we're getting there for sure. Um, Bombora is going to be my soap today. And with that, I'm going to be showing you an eraser. This came recently in the mail just before I left. And this is a Max Sprecher 9.8 near Wedge with these beautiful inlays and these mother of pearl dots with these, with this just incredible firework as well. So this is, um, a beautiful razor. So we're going to be using that. I've not used that today. I've been saving that for the shave actually. So that's what we're going to be using to shave with. And our brush to lather is none other but the, the Vale gas lamp. So the good news is I have incredibly soft water here. Um, so I don't need to use the distilled water anymore. I could just use normal water and it works as, as fine. The lighting isn't Great. Does this improve it? A little bit. Well, so we'll do that. Um, the lighting here isn't incredible, but I mean, we can make use of it, can't we? So that's not really a problem. Just getting a load on here. <laughs> yeah, it's been a few days since I shaved. I was shaving when I was on the road, but this, this much growth for me is quite unusual. So we're going to get this mowed down. I absolutely love this scent. This is one of my favorites. I think that should suffice. So let's put that side there. Take off the glasses. What I am going to do though, so I've not filled my nerdy squirt bottle. I do like the nerdy squirt bottle, so I am going to use that. But now I can fill it from the tap as opposed to having to uh, squirt the the uh, distilled water into it, which is awesome. So let's get the face wet and we get to shaving. Nice. It's so weird feeling this much growth on my face. Like it's just so rare that I ever have this much growth. So I'm gonna be scaling back on the amount of videos I do. I'm trying to find a routine here that works. So you'll probably see maybe two videos a week from me about that. Which, you know, to be completely honest, is plenty. Like, Kevy Shaves releases about two videos a week. Seems to work really well for him. It's probably gonna shed quite a bit because I have been traveling. My buddy shaving with Chief recently bought one of these, which is cool. I think he bought one of these. Man. The scent is beautiful. I, I really love it. Get the nerdy squirt bottle. We're going to build a straight razor lather today. Nothing too, nothing too dense. Something that works well for straights. Beautiful scent. So I hope you guys are well. We're doing okay. It's funny actually because I kind of moved from Albuquerque to escape the heat. My first couple of days here is 100 degrees. 
You guys in Europe, that's fucking hot. That's like almost 40 degrees Celsius. Very nice. I do think we need to go with that. I can't really tell. I, I'm not used to shaving with this much grass, so I think I think that'll do. Absolutely love this sun. It's just amazing. It's one of my. It's in my top five for sure, like of all time. It's just incredible. Very nice. Okay, let's get the uh, Lancaster towel here. Let's put that to the side so I can dry my hands. <laughs> Get out this beast. Max Brecker, 9 8 Beautiful abalone scales. Just let the razor do the work. Very heavy. Confession for me, I've never used a wedge before, so the heaviest ground I've used is quarter hollow. Smooth. Switch hands here. Dude, I'm surprised how just effortlessly it glides. And I put it down to the weight, you know? The heavy grind for that bit feels much better. That's pass one done. Let's put the razor aside over here. Get the face wet a bit and we'll have it up again. It's needed, I tell you. It's funny because what I've noticed from my perspective is I think straight razors produce more initially. I think they reduce more per pass than like uh, safety razors do. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Okay, let's lather up again. Ah, oh, this scent. Beautiful. really is one of my favorites. It's just so, it's just so aquatic. It's such a good blend. But yeah, I hope you guys are good. Um, 
I've been waiting to do this shave for a bit and I'm really looking forward to just having a clean face. <laughs> Let's go across grain here. Well. Biggest difference for me? Is the different blade angle. It's because the grind is thicker, you need to kind of lay it differently on your skin. Nice. Switch hands. No pressure at all. Just letting the razor glide. rinsing my hands off. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's just do our clean up and we Dry off the hands a bit. Get the lather going again. Awesome. Plenty of residual. What a shame. Okay. We're not going to cut, we're just going to keep rolling with this. Let me drop the blade here. So I wipe off the water and then I immediately change. Kind of like the part of the towel I wipe off with. 
Just try the blade. Don't want any water in the pins. This, the Lancaster towel is perfect because it just absorbs water. Okay, so now this will be set aside here like that and we'll just put that down there. And let's get to the post. So let's get some cold water. Actually, let's make a face wash. Fill this lather. Oh no, this scent is just insane. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, switch to cold water, oh, hot water, and just clean out the brush a bit. So that was a remarkable shave, guys. Um, it's gonna take me a bit of time to get used to the amount of like weight and size that razor is, but the shave went really well overall. I'm really happy with that. This is such a beautiful brush too. So what I do here, shake out the brush. Okay, no stop man. Clean the handle a bit, just in case there's any soap scum on it. Put it over there. Okay, let's wash off the face and uh, get the puck. Oh man, <laughs> the soft water makes a difference. Very, very nice. Okay, so our post shave today, which, so I, at, so at first I bought this without the splash and I immediately regretted it because I love the scent so much. I managed to find the splash a while ago. Um, chuffed, ecstatic, but I found it. Let's actually get a shake on this. The scent longevity on these is quite good too. So, get a good shake. Let's get that. Let's get generous now. Oh. Man, oh man. A little bit of burn, not terrible. Lightly ventilated. <laughs> oh, this, this fucking scent. That's <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Okay. Let's do a recap of what I used today. I'll let you guys go. Sorry, the scent makes me almost high in euphoria. It's so good. Um, if I can close the bottle like a twat. Okay, so what we what did we use today? Today we used one of my favorite scents, Australian Private Reserve Bombora. Just, man, it's, it's just so good. If you like like more citrusy aquatic scents, it's such a remarkable scent. Uh, our razor today was the first and absolutely not last use of our Max Sprecher 9H with this beautiful inlay across the spine in this uh, file work. I love this razor and uh, it, it looks stunning, it performs well. I, I just can't ask for more really. Max does such a remarkable job with everything he does. Our brush was the Vale gas lamp with this 29 mil custom knot by Vale. And our splash was the Australian Private Reserve Bombora matching splash. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so, I very much appreciate it. Thank you all for your support in, this la in the last video I made. I'm gonna stick to those guns. I'm only gonna use what I love from now on. And this was a perfect first example. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. Give it give it a thumb up if you liked it. Give it a thumb down if you disliked it and tell me why. I'm sure we can come to some discussion about it, whatever. Apart from that, my name is Jack, your host in the Vertigo Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now.